Good morning, folks. We hope you caught our special video last night, the other battle we had with Harvard. We'll hit space weather, seismicity, deep space news, and yet another paper on geomagnetic earth changes, but we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the last day was somewhat quiet. No big flares, no eruptions aimed for Earth. The coronal hole stream we've been expecting appears to be moderate only, medium speed with no more geomagnetic disturbances, but we'll keep watching today. The top eruptive event went off the departing limb this morning, a solid filament snap, and in the coming days, we'll be watching the newly born sunspots on the north. The other active regions are in decay, putting this one in focus. Folks, we had some big earthquakes the last day. A 7.1 and 6.7 sister quakes rocked the band to sea near Indonesia. Luckily, they hit out to sea with lessened land impact. Also had a rare five-pointer in Texas. No reports of damage or injury there either as of this early hour, but that could update today. Quickly, let's also acknowledge and send prayers to Kenya and Somalia, where dozens have been killed by major flooding events, and over 100,000 people have had to evacuate. First up in today's articles is a blast from the past. The main point of this new paper is how they now think the distances to many stars are wildly wrong. But it's the cause of the confusion that caught my eye. Veteran observers who remember our cosmology videos likely recall the importance of dust, especially the dust population they can't see so well, the so-called dark dust. Excellent call out here on how it hides reality. After last night's special video, you've now had rundowns on both our battles with Harvard and videos from the last week. Last night it was the danger of geomagnetic changes on Earth, and today we get an outstanding preprint headed to the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society explaining how Earth's habitability can be put in danger if our magnetic field weakens, like during a geomagnetic reversal. That's the overall livable state of the planet. So who could deny that such an event also therefore presents serious risks to the environment and for the loss of species? Good work by the team out of France there. Folks, we've got 10 days left until our observer event at Observer Ranch. It'll be November 18th. Rocky and the Big Burb will be there as well. Tickets at the link below. We hope to see you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.